Hola and buenos dias from beautiful Dreams Flora. We are going to take a little tour of this resort. We have been staying here for the past four nights and I'm gonna show you where everything is at this beautiful resort in Punta Cana, Dominican Republic. Hey there and welcome to my channel. I'm Asai, a travel agent specializing in luxury and all-inclusive vacations. And today in Dreams Flora, we are going to begin our tour in the main lobby. Throughout this video, you'll expect to see this map pop up showing you exactly where we are along the way. So let's get started. Welcome to Dreams Flora. This is the lobby. As soon as you get out of your transport, this is what you'll see. Okay, so we walk up here and over here to the left is the resort store. Very expensive, but they have plenty of souvenirs and anything that you may have forgotten from home. And then as we go over to the right, we have the check-in desk. And up those stairs is the Ultimate Vacation Club. We have the Amstar desk. And then here is Concierge. We have some bathrooms through here. And then over here to the right is the Coco Cafe. And Coco Cafe is open 24 hours. They have all of the different coffee and tea drinks that you may want and an assortment of pastries and sandwiches and everything that you could need. And going across the plaza here, we have the preferred club lounge. And if you are preferred club, you will check in through the lounge here. You'll, you have some bathrooms and up the stairs is the check-in desk, which I'll show you momentarily. Okay, as you come up the stairs, you'll reach the preferred club bar and this bar does offer some top shelf liquor options. There's also additional wine that you can purchase if you like. They have tea and they can pretty much get you any kind of drink you'd like. Uh, you can see here there is a nice seating area, and then these are all of the different snacks that are available throughout the day. They do offer breakfast, lunch, and essentially dinner or slash appetizer snacks for you. Plenty of seating, a beautiful view of the grounds. You can see they have plates and silverware and everything that you could want. A nice assortment of pastries. My kids loved the donuts. This was around lunchtime and you can see here you have private check-in and actually private check-out for when you depart. The preferred club lounge is open from 7 until 10 p.m. daily. All right, and then we head into the main section of the lobby and down here you'll find the mexican restaurant the buffet the theater the asian restaurant and the french restaurant so if we take the stairs down to the right we have a really nice photo op right here and then here's the theater we have some bathrooms back here we have the theater bar the theater bar right here and they do offer nightly entertainment a theme show every single night and then 
keep walking. So here on the main plaza, we just came down those stairs. We have Rendezvous, the lobby bar. And then we have the stage where they offer nightly music and entertainment as well. Bands, DJs. We're going to keep walking this way. Right. And the grounds are beautiful. All kinds of little pools and water fountains everywhere. So if we go down here to the right, this is where you will find the teen club core zone and the sports bar and nightclub. The sports bar opens at, I believe it's 5 p.m. until 11 and then it becomes a disco nightclub until um, I believe it's 1 a.m. We haven't had a chance to go in there yet, although our butler did arrange to open the sports bar early last night to watch the Orioles playoffs game. Go. Okay, so heading back this way, we'll cut back to the other side of the lobby. Back this way, we'll cut across the main plaza. So this is definitely where people come before and after dinner, listen to live music, excellent drinks here at the lobby bar. And then just over here on the other set of stairs, we have El Patio, the Mexican restaurant, and it also services the buffet during breakfast and lunch. We ate here last night and the food was excellent. Okay, and then we stick here to the side and we have the entrance to the World Cafe and that is the main buffet open for breakfast, lunch and dinner daily. We have yet to eat there for anything but breakfast and lunch, but the breakfast and lunch options have been excellent. So as you see here, if we make a left, we will go check out Himitsu, the Asian restaurant, and Bordeaux, the French restaurant. So you can see the seating for the buffet. The buffet is open from 7 a.m. until I believe 10.30 for breakfast. They open back up for lunch, I believe from 11 until two, two or three, I think three o'clock, three or 3.30. And then for dinner, I believe from five until 10.30 or 11. So here we are coming up on Bordeaux and Himitsu. Bordeaux will also service the buffet if they need more seating. We continue around here and we get to the entrances. We are going to try Bordeaux tonight for dinner. Um, at, in the evening, we have eaten at Himitsu. They will have a little bar set up here for anyone waiting for their reservation. Um, but here on the left side, we have the entrance to Bordeaux, and on the right side is the entrance to Himitsu. Now, these restaurants, well, we'll start with Bordeaux. Bordeaux is the adults only French restaurant. You have to be 18 and up. Uh, it is the only restaurant that has a dress code. We do require men to wear long pants and closed toed shoes. Women, as long as you're dressed nicely, you are good to go. Uh, Himitsu is the Asian restaurant, and there are two sections to Himitsu. One is the a la carte table service, where they have a dedicated menu, and that is open for dinner, no reservations required. And the hibachi teppanyaki tables do require a reservation. The reservations 
are fairly easy to make. We are staying preferred club at this resort and our butler was able to make a reservation for us. And we actually have a second reservation set for Friday night as well, which is coming up in two days. Hola. Okay, so now we are heading into the main part of the resort. As you can see, here is the lobby building here. And the way that this resort is set up is that on either side of this middle courtyard, we have rows of buildings. Now they call these buildings patios. So you can see here is the beginning of this set of patios and then on the right hand side. So we will be sticking to the middle here for the moment. And there are two pathways here, but down on the right hand side, they're actually doing some work. So we are going to take this pathway. And this is the first of two pools that are available to everyone staying here. And it is a nice, beautiful, freeform pool. There are some swim out rooms here. And we have a nice wide staircase and there is a swim up bar. Papa. All right. Now, as we continue on this path, we have the backside of the manatees bar. So you have a walk up bar and a swim up bar. The bartenders have all been excellent. They'll make whatever you want. They'll come up with drinks that you like, but you can see this side of the pool. And then we have the, almost like a lazy river. There's no current to it, but it just keeps going. So as you leave the lobby, this pool runs along the entire left side of the resort. One thing I really love about this resort is how easy it is to walk around. It's not very big, it's not too big, but it's not too small either. So the pool just keeps going. It goes all the way back there and all the way here. Okay. So what we're going to do is before I take you to the main pool area, I'm going to show you where the adults only preferred club pool is. Um, I'm not going to go over to the left because they're doing some landscaping. If you take this pathway straight in front of me, that leads to the Blue Dorado which is the special events area. Uh, our first night here, there was a wedding there. It's a really great venue. Oh. Right over a little lagoon. And then this right here is depicting a sugarcane grinder, which the Dominican is known for sugarcane. Okay. So we're going to keep going down this pathway. Okay, so as you can see, we have the main entrance to Blue Dorado. We'll take a peek. They also do offer yoga here in the mornings at, I think it's 9.30 a.m. if I remember correctly. It's a little loud, I apologize. I am wearing a mic, but you have a full bar set up here and we've seen tables set up for dinner and it's a really pretty venue. Okay, we'll go back out the way we came. Okay, back to this pathway and on the left, we have a little shop. And this is going to be your beachwear um, uh, swimsuits, boogie boards, sunblock, 
sunglasses so you don't have to go all the way back to the main lobby to get some of these things. There is a towel stand right here. And there's a little, uh, little lending library, which is great if you finished a book or forgot to bring one, you can grab one right here. And see how beautiful the grounds are. Apologies again for the noise, but they do a great job of maintaining. Now, right here is the start of the main pool, but we're gonna come back to that. And all of this ahead of me leads to the main pool area, but I'm gonna come back to that. So we're gonna cut through here. I'm gonna head over toward some of the preferred club buildings. Now, when you say preferred club, you are placed in a preferred location. So you're going to be closer to the main pools and the beach versus closer to the lobby. You also will receive a butler who can make reservations for you, help you with any issues that may be in your room, really do just about anything that you could need. So you can see the preferred club buildings are indicated by not only this uh, carpet, but a plaque on the wall as well. Okay, so we're just going to cut to the back side here. And I'm not sure that I have found a better way to get to the adult pool, but I'm sure that there is. So as you see, we come from the back side here. These are all your swim up rooms. These rooms come with a bally bed for your use. And this is the preferred club adults only pool. So we will take a little walk through here. And this is all adults only. Preferred club, very quiet. We have a jacuzzi here. You can see very quiet. We actually haven't spent any time here because I do have my two kids, eight and 10 years old with me. So we've been sticking to the beach and the family pool or the main pool, a little bit at the preferred club family pool, but not a lot. So we have nice cushioned sun beds. We have some in water lounges. We do have a swim up bar. I'll get this from the opposite side. Towel service. Hola. We have another preferred club bar here. And then we have these loungers here. and swim up bar right there. Again, you have to be saying preferred club to use this pool. All right, so we will go this way, back the way we came. Now up here, we have some of the beach and some cabana rentals. Uh, this is preferred club. I don't believe it's adults only. It doesn't say that it is. So this is just a preferred club area. They are doing work up here. And these cabanas are for rent.
you get access to the top and bottom levels. You have a dedicated server, um, I think a mini fridge and a few other things. But as you can see, they're doing work up here and this is a big seawall. Oh, there's a lot of sargasm out today. Um, so no one has been spending any time here. Now, if we keep walking this way, well, we're gonna cut back to this main pathway. All right, so you can see here, the preferred club sign, it does say adults only, just to remind you. Okay, so we keep going down this path and here we have the Barefoot Grill. Awesome place, they have a great bar here for anybody. They have food, they have pizza, excellent pizza, hot dogs, nachos. They have a whole salad station. Nothing's quite set up yet. They don't open until 11. They run from 11 to six. Garnish, they'll have things like chicken, burgers. Everything's been awesome. A whole fruit station and the bar. <laughs> And then you have the view. They do have plenty of seating, which is great for that midday lunch break or snack. And then this leads to the main section of beach. The beach has been beautiful the whole time we've been here little bit of sargasm they do a really good job of cleaning it up uh, typically if you get out past let's see if you get out past where it's a little bit cloudy it does clear up and it is clear to the bottom usually we have been very happy with this beach okay now, we are going to cut through this little pathway here and go check out the main pool area. We have not had a single problem finding any kind of loungers at the beach. We are not really uh, lounging by the pool people. We prefer the beach, my kids love it. As you can see, they are doing a little bit of work here. That should be done sh shortly. Okay, so we're gonna go up this pathway to the right of the big Palapa hut. And you can see we have some swim up rooms, a little bit of the pool here, and the rest of the pool here. Some of it actually. So let's take a peek. Really big swim up bar. Okay. Follow this path and go around the other side. Okay, so up here we have the mix, which is a bar, also a special events place for weddings. We have some bathrooms to the left. I think I took the long way. I haven't even been up here, to be honest with you, but we have whole bar set up and we've seen a few weddings set up up here too. You can see we have the pool here. The pools are very deep 
I do recommend to bring floats if you're short like me. It comes up to my chest. I'm only 5'2". And you can see we have the big stage here where they do entertainment. Now, normally, we would be able to get down these stairs. I'm not sure if we can. They did have a couple weddings set up up here while we've been here. We still have all regular beach to the left. The infinity edge pool. This is the main pool. This is where all of your activities are going to be. They do um, dancing and beach, uh, pool aerobics. Okay. So this will be your main and one of the entrances to the pool. And then now we have all the beach here. I'm going to come back to this in a moment. We'll finish looking at the pool. Okay, up here. So here's another view. Beautiful. And then, on the opposite side, you can see how this pool just keeps going and going, kind of like a lazy river. No current, but my kids have loved kind of racing us <laughs> to get to the end of the bridge, them going via the waterway and us walking. You can see it just keeps going all the way to the end around the corner there. We do have pool volleyball here, which is great. And then all of those swim out rooms. Okay. Now we're gonna go back the way we came. So now we're back to the beach. Ah, I spy my daughter. Okay, so we have some bathrooms here. We have towel stand where you can get towels. And there's my daughter playing horseshoes. They do offer beachside and poolside service. There's my husband. <laughs> so we are back to the beach and we have Barracuda. Awesome beach, or awesome bar. This is where your beachside servers will get bar, um, drinks from. You have some seating, this wide open section of beach here. And this is where they'll do activities, beach games, and try to get everybody uh, involved in doing stuff. Now, as we keep on going, there's a roped off, there's um, beach volleyball. There's a roped off section, and beyond that is the preferred club section of the beach on this side. We have yet to go down there. We prefer to be, uh, you know, where everybody else is. There are beach vendors, of course, very polite. And if you just say no thank you, uh, they will leave you alone. They're very nice. They'll even try to befriend you a little bit. We've met a couple that are very, very nice. The beach tractor is going by if it's a little loud. Apologies. Okay. So now we've left the middle section of the resort. Here are the patios or buildings. Um, on this side, and we're going to go past them to the Preferred Club family pool. This pathway here will be your main beach road access, essentially. Um, okay, here we go. 
So as you can see, we've got preferred club members only. This is the family pool, open to all families, staying preferred club. And we'll go take a closer look. So just in front of the preferred club family pool, as I mentioned, is the preferred club section of beach. In my opinion, uh, they don't have any loungers close to the beach, which is why we've been staying at the other section, the main section of beach instead. Okay, let's go take a look at the preferred club family pool. So we have all of these loungers here with umbrellas. And we have the pool. So we've got some in-water loungers, swim-up bar, infinity edge. We'll go down and take a look from the other end. Here we have the in-water loungers, and then if you are staying in a swim-up room, here is your swim-up access that goes straight to the main pool, and you do have these ballet beds included. We'll take a walk and see where that pool leads to. You'll see in front of me under this thatched roof, this is the Seaside Grill. Seaside Grill is open to preferred club guests for breakfast and lunch, a la carte service. And it is open to everyone for dinner as the steakhouse. We ate breakfast here this morning. It was delicious, excellent service and we had dinner here on our first night. The steak was wonderful. Seaside Grill. All right. Overlooking the pool and the ocean. There we go. Okay, now you'll see behind the swim-up bar for the preferred club family pool is another preferred club bar. I do believe that they keep this open for guests waiting for dinner, but I'm going to confirm that. Okay, so we have Seaside Grill here and then over here to the right is Portofino. I'll touch on that in a moment because right behind me is a jacuzzi. It has been so hot we have yet to go in here. You can see behind that is more of the family pool. We have nice cushioned sunbed loungers over here. Okay, so as I mentioned, we have Portofino right here. Portofino is the Italian restaurant. Uh, I should mention all of the restaurants here do not require a reservation. They should be open from, I believe it is six until 10 p.m. at night, I think. Uh, Portofino is the Italian restaurant. We ate here on our second night and it was outstanding. We loved it. We particularly loved the caprese salad. Hang on, let me get another little shot of the end of the preferred club family pool. Beautiful, I love the color. Okay, swinging back to Portofino. We 
We enjoyed the caprese salad and the beef carpaccio and the pastas were delicious. Okay, now we are going to stick to this outside edge, <laughs> I guess you could say, of the patios. And for reference, if you know anything about the resort, so this is patio 10 on the opposite side as you cut through here, leads you to the main pool. This is a preferred club building. Going down this pathway, we can reach the spa. So we have Portofino to the left and the spa to the right. You'll also find the weddings office if you're planning a wedding. And here is the entrance to the spa. The spa is full service. They will offer pretty much anything that you need from massages to manicures, pedicures. I believe they have a beauty salon. And then up here is the gym, up these steps. We have the gym up there. I'll go take a look in a second. Right in front of the gym, we have the medical um, clinic. Hopefully you don't need to use that. Let's go check out the gym. I haven't been up here yet. I don't know about you, but I am not one for working out on vacation. So let's go take a look. Oh, very nice gym and nobody's in here, yay. Oh, what a great setup. Okay, we have your dumbbells here. Excellent. All of the machines you could need. We have what's better than running on a treadmill and looking out over the ocean, right? Awesome. And then they offer, uh, what is this? Oh, chlorophyll detox water. Okay some apples and they just ask that you check in right here. So there is the gym at Dreams Flora. Okay, so I was saying that the spa offers all kinds of treatments. They do have a daily special every day. Yesterday it was couples massage, and today is like a stone massage. We're gonna wait a minute. Okay, they do have full service treatments at the spa. Um, I do think it's a little pricey personally, and I did hear some feedback from somebody that they actually purchased a massage from one of the beach vendors, and it was only about $100 for three people for one hour, and they said it was incredible, so take that as you will. All right, I'll flip you back around. We're continuing down this pathway. Oops. Continuing down this pathway, and over here to the right in this round building, this is the Explorers Club. This is the Kids Club. They have daily scheduled activities for children from ages, I believe it's four through 12. I'll double check when we get up here. My kids have not uh, taken advantage of Explorers Club yet. They've been having too much fun on the beach um, but here we go. Here is the Explorers Club. So you can see today, let's take a look at the programming. They have their staff of the day. 
They have a movie night. They have face painting today. They have a pajama party. And then this is the daily activity sheet for the entire resort. So if your kids want to come and meet some other children, this is a great place to do it. Now we're gonna to get to what is one of the most fun aspects of this resort in just a moment. I don't know about your kids, but mine absolutely love a good water park. And not only that, but these slides are a ton of fun for kids of all ages, if you get what I mean. My husband and I have had a blast going down the slides. Okay, so first we have this little splash park. Couple slides, it's got the bucket that fills up and dumps on you. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> and we've got some more little water features over there. Perfect for kids, probably 12 and under, and 12 is probably pushing it. But my eight and 10 year olds have had some fun here too. Okay, now the water park. So much fun. You've got a total of seven slides, four racing slides, which no matter what you do, <laughs> My kids always seem to beat me. I think they cheat. So we have the four racing slides. I do want to caution you, be incredibly careful around this tile. It is so slippery. It looks like the speed slide, this yellow one is down today for some reason. Uh, that one's very fast and a ton of fun. We have the green open slide, a little slow, a little meandering, a good time, and then the closed, fully enclosed teal slide that is dark and hot and also a lot of fun. There is seating here. We have some loungers and umbrellas up here on this deck and then some more loungers and umbrellas here. I think the only thing this area is missing is a snack area and a bar. So let's bring it around full circle and make our way back to the lobby. This will be your entrance to the slides. Ah, and if you're wondering, they do require that your child be at least uh, 4.2 feet tall. Okay, so I was saying, you can probably see how much I'm sweating here. I was saying how much I enjoyed this resort because of its smaller footprint. It's very, very easy to walk around, which has been great for my in-laws who are 75. Um, we have been able to get the lay of the land very quickly and easily. And we are placed in a really nice central location. So that helps for sure. Um, we have been very happy with all of the food. The entertainment has been great. The staff and the service has been absolutely wonderful. Uh, just so you know, I'm walking through patio 12 right now. And let's take a look and see where we are. Okay. So as we cut through here, Ah, we're coming up to the closed section of the walkway that they're doing work on. So we would have to go around, but as you can see, there is the lobby 
right through there. So with that said, thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed this video and stay tuned for my full review of our stay, our seven night stay at the Dreams Flora. Absolutely wonderful resort for families of all ages. Really fantastic for multi-generational trips. I think that this resort has something for everybody, but stay tuned for my next video for more information about that. Bye guys.